Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we're gonna be going over what's the best coin method to use right now in the game. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video. If you used the fat dollars method yesterday and you pulled a limited, go ahead, let your boy know in the comment section. We're gonna start off with some shout outs. We have the BMC1. We also have A It's Sam. We have another shout out to Nathan Whitman. If you want a chance to be shouted out in the video, make sure that you are staying active and you are subscribed with your notifications on. Let's get into today's breakdown. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. Now, right now, no limiteds are in the game. So make sure that you are smart with your investments, number one, okay? And you can always be a little bit patient. If the car is not at least 320 to 330,000, I would be patient and wait so you can get the most value remember there's a 10 percent to every single card if you have two limiteds or three limiteds you don't want to be that person that sells the limited for 295,000 coins and then in two days on wednesday you see everybody else have them posted up for 400,000 coins or 425 450 you're going to be missing out on about 80 to 100,000 coins by not being patient so all these cars that are not limited besides the Derrick Henry's will go up mid 300,000 you look on the auction house you can see Humphrey is already in the 320s now when you scroll down you can see how many cards have to be bought before his price rises up now looking at the limiteds for the value to go up you have to get rid of all these other cards so he's up to 320 right now okay so you have 5 10 15 20 25 cards before you get to the next tier which is 330 okay and they've been selling he's been selling five to six cards every 15 minutes i've been seeing new bids pop up okay so i'm looking to get at least 335 to 340 for each one of my limited so i will wait around this area right here in the next three to five hours before i think about selling mine off i want to get the most profit if i wait 335 340 i'm gonna begin 300k for each card so let's take a look at the prices real quick and why the 500 get a player packs are very very important right now in the game while limiteds are not available so if you can look if you scroll down you can see all these cards daily top gainers a lot of power-ups and golds are way up this one is up 2629 percent that's the 78 overall micah parsons okay jonathan taylor is up 1735 percent that's over 24k for each one so a lot of y'all might have these power-ups already but all these cars that are on the rise, this Joe Burrow is up to over 21,000 coins. Just yesterday, I seen them selling for 10, 11, and 12,000. So if you was to buy some Joe Burrows or you have Joe Burrows, you have a big time profit already. If you have a lot of Dallas Cowboy players or Miami Dolphins players, even silvers or gold, you need to check them in your binder. You might have an extra 50 to 100,000 coins sitting there. To get a player pack is only five hundred coins a piece is gonna give you a chance to number one build sets you can do team builders with the elites sell them for about 14 to 16 thousand coins a piece or you can just have that opportunity at pulling a glitchy power up it's a lot of power ups that go for 20,000 60,000 80,000 coins and then they have the playoff program getting ready to come up next so get a player packs will be your best friend you will be spending the least amount of coins all total over the past two weeks and you have a chance at pulling something very very glitchy now the Bengals is on the watch the jamar chase power up was about 40 thousand coins it shot all the way up last night to about seventy eight thousand and then it went back down he had a game breaking day so the joe burrows the jamar chases all the teams that are in the playoffs you need to be finding them power-ups for cheap 
Them are good investments to take advantage of. Get yourself two or three of them and it'll be just like the Hertz card. You see how when that got announced, it shot all the way up. The power up was over 200,000. So if you are getting them cards, for 15, 16,000 and you get three or four of them and they go all the way up to 100,000 coins each and you got three or four different players, that would be the fastest 300 to 400,000 coins that you ever made in Madden 22. So if you come over here to the store and you go to players, you're gonna go down here to this get a player pack, okay? You wanna pull about 10 to 20,000 coins worth of these packs. It can help you get something glitchy. It can help you do sets. I usually do about 40,000 coins worth. I know that I'm gonna get a lot of golds in there. I know I'm gonna get elites. And then the exchange sets is your best friend. As we pull a 77 overall Sammy Watkins right there. And you check the price and the price is 600, 800 coins. Those are the ones that you wanna throw into sets. You can turn them into elites or you can turn them into an opportunity for power-ups now if you pull a gold and it's glitchy 5,000 7,000 coins also you're gonna get a chance at these power-ups and like I said a lot of these power-ups is on the rise this is a Colts player they have a chance to go to the playoffs so right now his power-up is not the best only 950 coins but it's a power-up so I'm gonna keep it at any given moment this can go up 70 80 percent and this same power-up that I got for 500 coins can turn around and go up to eight nine thousand coins that would be about an eight thousand profit on this one card for 500 coins okay so every time that you get a power up or you get a gold that sells that's a lot of profit if you're spending 500 you get a gold that sells for even 3,000 coins that's 2,500 coins if you pull one of these 500 coin packs and you get this 83 overall how much of a profit is that this 83 overall is four thousand coins so that right there is about three thousand five hundred coins that i made that easy so if you pull in 20 to 30 of these packs and you even get 10 or 15 good pulls you got an opportunity to make 45 to 50 thousand coins super super fast just opening up the cheapest packs in madden 22 so Everybody, drop a thumbs up on the video. Make sure that you take advantage of this right now. We are looking for power-ups and the low gold, 70 to 74 overall. Uh, when you are done ripping all your packs, that's when you're gonna exchange the ones that don't have a lot of value. So you'll come right here to exchange and then you would turn them into anything that you want. Everything that you pull has some type of value, okay? So I like to come to this trade in three gold players 70 to 74 overalls for a random gold player you can do this one or you can do trade in six gold players for a random elite player depending on the power up that you're looking for for so this one right here is going to help you with the 79 overall power ups that is going for a lot and then this one so this this set right here is going to help you with the 78 and 79 overall power ups that is going for a lot this one right here is going to help you with the glitchy 80 to 82 overall power ups that is on the rise right now no matter what you spend in 500 coins with an opportunity to walk away with over a hundred thousand coins depending on what your pools is or what sets you complete drop a thumbs up on the video this is a low risk method right here you don't have to have a lot of coins you can go in with 40,000 coins 50,000 coins and double your profit it's all love drop a thumbs up on the video